quadratic equations quadratic polynomial a polynomial is of the type a x square plus b x plus c where a is not equal to zero and a b and c are real numbers some examples of quadratic polynomials are given quadratic equation an equation obtained by equating a quadratic polynomial to zero is called a quadratic equation the standard form of a quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero where a b and c are real numbers a is not equal to zero and x is a variable some examples of quadratic equations are given Roots of a quadratic equation. Every quadratic equation has two roots, that is, two values of the unknown variable. If alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a, b and c belong to the set of real numbers and a not equal to zero, then alpha is equal to minus b plus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and beta is equal to minus b minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. Sum of the roots is equal to alpha plus beta that is equal to minus b by a that is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square product of the roots alpha into beta is equal to c by a that is equal to constant term by coefficient of x square the quadratic equation with alpha and beta as the roots is given by x square minus x into sum of the roots plus product of the roots is equal to zero that is x square minus alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta is equal to zero. Discriminant of a quadratic equation. The quantity b square minus 4ac in minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero is known as the discriminant of the quadratic equation and is denoted by d or delta. If d is greater than zero then both the roots are real and distinct. If d is greater than zero and is a perfect square then both the roots are rational. And if d is greater than 0 and not a perfect square, then both the roots are irrational. If d is equal to 0, then both the roots are real and equal. If d is less than 0, then both the roots are imaginary. Now let us study the methods of solving a quadratic equation. To solve a quadratic equation by factorization method, the following steps need to be followed. Clear all the fractions and brackets if necessary. Transpose all the terms to the left hand side. Express the equation as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Factorize the expression on the left hand side. Equate each factor to zero and solve. To solve a quadratic equation by completing the square, the following steps need to be followed. Make the coefficient of x square term plus 1. Transfer the constant term to the right hand side. Make the left hand side a perfect square. Take the square root of both the sides and obtain the solution. A quadratic equation solved by the formula method is explained using an example. Go through the problem.
we can solve many word problems by converting them into quadratic equations. Go through the example for better understanding.